Make sure there's something in there. No! No! It's to them! The glove, just shoot it! Previously on Resident Evil Revelations. What took you two so long? At least we're here. What's up with Veltra? Straight into the depths of hell. It's a security token. It means we can scavenge the data on that radar. What the? What happened? Boy, have you heard from Gill and Parker yet? Their investigation let them out to sea. Yeah, but we lost track of the ship. This is Jackass. I got the coordinates on the ship. I'm sending them now. That's not far. Chris here. I received the coordinates. We're running out of time. Damn it. Ryan, we're on our way. Alright, hey guys, welcome to episode 6, Cat and Mouse, which suggests we're gonna get chased by something, which I don't like the sound of. But yeah, I love that like, guy's name's Jackass, like his official ranking name, I love that. Okay, so anyway, episode 6, let's see where we go. I'm thinking we're gonna get some uh, Chris and Jessica action, but let's have a look. The last episode is really awesome, so I'm excited to play this one as well. Where could they be? Anywhere. Let's get started. I find it interesting that her one of her legs... Okay, it's open. I was gonna say it's a different colour. That's very strange. Okay, whatever floats a boat. Now, speaking of boats, that was an unintentional segue, by the way. How are you planning to find them? No plan. Just search every room. Shall we look around the sides first, see if there's... Any hidden shit? Okay, we've got a... Oh, okay, I guess we can't. He's still got his earmuffs in. Delicate ears. Oh, cat and mouse, because we're chasing Parker and stuff, okay. So I wonder if this is gonna be like, because we, we came across this earlier, because I went the wrong way, I think, and I couldn't get out. So I wonder if this is going to be something to do with like the end maybe and you have to get the card readers and we get out onto the helipad and then we can escape. Well, what if Veltro finds us first? Then we capture him and interrogate him. I just feel safe with these two because they're like outsiders, kind of. But they won't have the key, will they? Oh, I guess we unlocked it before. Not this room, please. Anything but this room. I hate this room. This is a new mutation. A reaction to a new virus. Get PTSD from this room. Okay, let's see. I think there's a way out if we go... Not that way. Through here, right? And then through here? And hopefully she'll just like kind of spawn to us. Because fuck it if I'm going to go through all that shit again. This shit. Yeah, she did. That's I good. just hope that Jill and Parker are okay. Okay, what weapons do we have? We have a shotgun and... Okay, we basically have the same as we had with uh, Jackass and... I don't know. Like, he reminds me of... The guy that we were playing as in the last one. Oh, there's a thing down there. Reminds me of, you know, if you watch Benidorm and it was like the two gay guys and it was like the, the skinny kind of tanned guy and the the chubby okay let's just say fat the fat like balding white guy he reminded me kind of of the uh 
the, the lankier tanned guy. And if I remember, this door is like an asshole to open. It acts as if it's like a fucking airlock or something, the amount of time it takes. See, I'm guessing this part will have like two or three parts to it as well, like maybe one is... Come in! Jackass here! Give me a sit raft! Hey there. Any idea where we can find Parker and Jill? Jessica? Uh, um, yeah, uh, hold on. <laughs> Judging by the ship's condition, I believe there's a problem with the engines. I'd wager they're in the ship's fields trying to get them going again. That makes sense. We'll head down there now. Okay, now I need to remember how to get to the bilge. It's through the casino. Is it under here? Yeah, casino. I have to deal with them uh, fish. Unless they're dead. Well, we did kill them, but I don't know if they're just going to make them respawn for this mission. Three days later. Uh, are we going to need to play with the slots again? Oh, we have that door through there. Which we couldn't open last time, so maybe we're going through this way. Pretty sure there's something in there. No! No! no it's through there! The glove, just shoot it. Okay, shit. I am going, I'm not doing well. Why am I just going straight... so easy this time. Ah! Holy shit. Two of them and we actually did it. And we got a key. Trident key. That looks fucking awesome to be fair. Holy shit. I am super duper a million times happy with myself for that. They are fucking assholes, man. If you didn't see, uh, I think it was part three, episode three, and everything was going great because I was loving that mission, like the start of that, you were like Parker in his, was it BSAA days? Or FBC, one of them, I can't remember. But yeah, it was like great. And then we had the mission with Jill, and it was shit. And we were in that little alleyway that you saw at the start that we came through. So Veltro wants to unleash this virus on the world. Right. But it's already infected the ship. Oh, look at this guy. Bastard. Okay, maybe we should switch to our shotgun. So he's like a... What's the one from... Left for dead, but they like explode themselves. Oh, there's something here. Oh, what? So basically, don't be near them when they shoot or explode. Why is that having like no effect? Scan all these, try and get... Okay, I guess them guys dying means that you can't scan them for extra health. That's kind of a good idea by the developers, I guess. 
As much as it's a pain in the ass for me. Like weird kind of fleshy skin sacks. Okay, so two, two shots with the handgun and four with the shotgun. That doesn't make sense. Hmm. At first I thought this was the, um... Oh no, okay, I do know where we are. So can we just take this thing down or do we... Back with Jill and Park in the build passageway. Somebody! Anybody! I'll be at your service! Forever! Don't give up, Parker. There has to be a way! Head for the build. I just have no idea. It Chanel number so four, here we are. Them. Parker is going to owe me a nice dinner for saving his ass. Uh, which way? Should we go this way? Oh yeah, okay, this is the way we came last time. So I'm guessing just make it to that room. Unless we can do so from here. fucking flying. Okay, maybe the water will be higher, that would be kind of cool. Are we going to shoot the thing? Yeah, I think that was it. Well, this knife is fucking useless. Use a health thing. Don't stop shooting. Ooh. Okay, on we go. Onwards. Shit. I didn't think that one through. <laughs> Is it it's worth it though to get Okay, help. And we've got the suckers. Oh, and we have another one left. She can kind of deal with him. Okay, it won't move. Okay. Good thinking on the fly, look at that. Oh, and it's a bit strained. Oh, this is really cool. Oh, actually, it's not that cool. I thought it was going to be... I thought it was going to be like the, um... Oop, shit. I thought it was going to be like them water bugs that we saw before that were trying to get us when we could just like... when we were doing really well to... 
just run past them as Jill. I thought it was going to be them, but like floundering around because they weren't in water anymore. But it wasn't. It was just the land enemies were, were back for some reason. So that was kind of disappointing, but whatever. Nobody home. Where'd you go, Jill? Queen Semiramis. Is that like a different ship? 90% accuracy, that's quite good. Okay, so I'm guessing the next section is going to be seeing what Jill's up to, I'm guessing. So let's have a look and see what they are doing. Unless we're back with Jackass, but that would be kind of random. Oh, so this will be how they escape. <laughs> oh, hopefully we're not in like a, under like time restrictions. Oh God. Oh, I don't like this underwater. How do you go back up? You can't go back up. <laughs> I have no idea what we're doing. Is that a hole? No, it's just the four. Picked up a pipe. Okay, she looks like she's drowning. Ah. Oh, that was lucky. Oh. That was unlucky. Okay, another pipe. There was another one down there. Where was it? She's so strong, she pushes that lead pipe through the metal. Okay, and now we are into tunnel territory. And we have full ammo stuff, apparently. Can they just give us some fucking... handgun bullets? Oh, I thought it was gonna make a little slide. What does that mean, close bulkhead? How's that? I think that's the right way through here and right. He, he got hit by like one of them in the last one. Now we're probably going to get hit by everyone for some reason. Let's, okay, we must be going, yeah, okay, we're going the right way because there's enemies, and when there's enemies, it means you're going the right way. Oh. 
That was easy enough. And I love the stock sound effect on the, the door. The power's back. We can use it. All right. That should hold us for now. I'll check the control system. Don't have a signal. Maybe the antenna array is out. It's on the observation deck. Maybe we can fix it. I'm sure the view is nice. Me too. Did she wink at him? Let's move. That was cheeky. Either that or she's got a squint, I can't tell. The observation. We can climb up there from the hall. Stop it! Water still. It's okay. The bulkhead's closed. We just have to wait. Oh, we are miles away. So this is all going on while like Chris and Jessica are like coming in here trying to get us, trying to get us like them things I just ignored. Maybe I can scan them from up here. No. Just carry on. Let him deal with them. He just he just let me do the thing to be fair, so fuck it. Anything in here? No. Can we take this back up then? Is that what we're gonna do? No. We're on the Queen Samiramis. So it's Samaris, it's clearly semi rings. Okay, well, Quint learned there were two ships during his investigation. You must be on the Queen Zenobia's sister ship. Jill and Parker are probably being held on that ship. Have you been able to locate it? No, but I've got my top people on it. How much time has passed, right? Correct. It's possible that up until a few hours ago, the ships were traveling together. Search the area and see what you can find. Roger that. That's so dumb. Like, oh, it's the wrong ship. They're quite cool, they've got the same layout. I was very confused, but that makes sense now. Let's check our thing. So yeah, we want to go forward and then up. Or do we? Let's see what the other door is. If there is one. So there's like a little ladder thing. Yeah, this looks like it would be better. Or are we just going down again? Oh no, 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 we're going the right way. And we're dead. So I'm guessing we were like meant to do something in that time where like nothing really happened. All right, here we go, let's just... I don't know. Can we scan this? Did I already scan it? I don't remember. I must have done. Okay, so then that monster was actually really easy to kill. trying to do, aside from jerking us around so we don't know what we're doing. Who knows? We haven't seen hide nor hair from them since that video. Hide nor hair? Yeah, I don't like it. The sooner we get to the observation deck and contact HQ, the better. At the very least, I hope they've picked up Chris's whereabouts.
Do we have a shotgun? No. Maybe I should just equip a shotgun. As my, do we have? A, do we even have a shotgun option? Oh yeah, we already read that. That's to tell us how to open the door. Let's look at our map, see where we're going. So we just want to go forward and then it'll be in that um, kind of main central hub area, I guess. D did you hear that? That was a cool little element they threw in. This way, Jim. It's moving. Good. Now we can get to the observation deck. So we're gonna have like another boss fight thing? Hmm. Wait. Is there anything to scan? I don't know. Let's go up here. Who's one chewing at it? Okay, it's kind of useless, so it just kind of stands there and lets you hit it. Russell Pro, will you move out of the way? Weapons. How did... Wow, okay, that went down quick. And we're on to this one. It's going to be a nightmare. Is that it? Is it gone? Are we in the clear? He's very stoic, our partner guy. <sighs> All right, we're finally here. And it's night out. So there's nothing to see. That's kind of funny. Cute. Same one from before? Yeah, I think it's stalking us. Is that like, is it, is it us, it's weak point? I need to reload. Fuck, fuck. Oh, that's not what I meant to do. Fuck, come on, Jill. I'm not sure what to aim at here. It looks like it's got... Hey, there's like a weakness, I think. Okay, we're going back to this one. He's gonna run at us. Can we... Oh! Somehow it missed us. Why is she moving so slowly now? Okay, and then somehow behind this and it should 
be stupid enough to run itself into us. Another one that we can... Sixteen bullets. So run along these, see what I can actually collect. Okay, hand grenades, they're, they're good. Oh fuck! Come on. That was a good chance. Okay, so you can just like dodge it by running out the way, if that makes sense. Oh yeah, and we can quick turn, I forgot about that. Did that do something? Is it dead? Okay, we have barely any bullets, so it's just... I think that's... Yep. Woo, mama. What a pain in the ass piece of shit. What a night. Okay, I'm just cheesing it to get more... health stuff, even though I think we might have a spare thingy around here. Just run through it as you do. Yeah, there you go, there's another health thing. What's this? More parts. Rifle ammo case. Not too bad in the end. Thank god we didn't have like extra enemies like swarming us like we did for the chainsaw arm motherfuckers. The antenna is up above. Okay, thanks for that. Okay, give me something good. Is that the card? Vulture key card. I'm guessing that's what we need to use to swipe all them things that we've been having trouble with. Let's read this. Vulture agent's journal. I love how he's got like a little diary. That's hilarious. 2004, we are at last putting our final plan into action. Jack Norman, our leader and brother in arms, came up with this plan. When we first heard it, we had our doubts that it could even be pulled off. But now the time has come to enact this extraordinary plan thanks to the steel will. Why is there like an extra space between the and steel? Whatever. The steel will of our comrades and the one who supported our ideals with his power and influence. He has prepared these ships for our use. These luxurious liners are symbols of the degradation of humanity and will be vessels for the distribution of the virus that will purge humanity. I have been assigned the task of boarding the Queen Zenobia for our mission. Bernard Corti, 2004, 12 minutes until mission start. My body's trembling and I can't stop it. It could be the excitement or fear or both. Strange biological organisms created by the virus are milling around the secret lab in the bilge. 
The virus can be dissolved in water, so anyone who drinks that water will turn into a monster. The hunter-type B.O.W. is infected off-site and will spread the virus on land. The decadent eyesore that is a floating city will soon be turned into a veritable hell on earth. We must bring hell to the people, or the scales will not fall from their eyes. That is how Norman phrased it. If that grisly financier of ours believes in Norman, then we who serve him must do so as well. That's from good old Bernard. Ah, and we're out onto the poop deck. Reload them. And our handgun. Ah. Good to take in the fresh air. We got a lot more than we bargained for on this ship. Yeah. We've been fighting for our lives this whole time. I hope we can catch our breaths after checking in with HQ. I'll check the antenna's wiring. I, I didn't realize this like animation for it to undo the thing took so long. That's weird. Okay, so. Hmm. This one might be more awkward than the usual ones. Although, actually, it's just kind of. There you go. You just kind of have to initially spread them out so they're not all intercrossing. And then from there, it's just a case of lining them up with the light so it's not too bad. I think that should do it. We'll give it a shot. I hope it works. This is Vermilion. Headquarters. Do you read? O'Brien here. Are you two all right? We did it. Boss, it's Parker. Shit hit the fan here. It hit really hard. I know. The whole thing was a setup, and we fell for it. How do you know? <laughs> How do you know it's a setup? What is it, boss? Say something! Just stay put. I've got an emergency call. No, wait! Director O'Brien, we've received an emergency call from the ESF. They've reported satellite movement. The European Security Force? Go on. Yes, sir. Apparently Terra Grigia's solar energy integrator is being reactivated. Already in motion, are we? Looks like somebody's found the Queen Zenobia. You haven't changed a bit. Parker! HQ, what's going on? All hell's about to break loose. The solar energy matrix has activated. They're aiming at the Veltro hideouts on the Mediterranean, disguised as cruise ships. Satellites that destroyed Terra Grigia. Are right above us. They can't just ignore the ultimatum and obliterate the ship. Boss, get us out of here. <sighs> Sorry. But I can't authorize that. So is he in on it? What the fuck's going on there? I don't know. Anyway, that's the end of episode six, Cat and Mouse. And one death. Yes, that was unfortunate. That was very avoidable death as well. That's why I'm sad about it. So yeah, we are now halfway through officially. So yeah, there you go. I, I think that's him turning bad. I have no idea. But I guess maybe we'll find out more in the next one. So you'll have to come back to find the resolution to that amazing cliffhanger that they just pulled. Fun fact for you, uh, I think I believe the first three missions, it took me like three hours 20. The subsequent three missions, uh, four, five, and six, look at my thing now, it took me, what, two hours five for that three? So obviously that's either a sign that we're getting better at it or we're just getting like more acclimated, I guess. So that's positive, I'll take that.
so there you go that is episode six which was cat and mouse and next time possibly we'll see what the whole thing with o'brien is see whether he's working for vulture or not so that being said thanks for watching stay awesome and i'll see you guys next time for episode seven where we'll see what happens next so thanks a lot for watching and see you guys next time thanks guys